All right, all right, all right. I've got some cool AI slash Discord bot uh, things that I want to show you all today involving ERLC, which involves custom commands, custom bot development, and stuff like that. So if you are new here, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment letting me know what you think. And yeah, let's get right into it. So the first thing isn't really a new bot command. It is, it's a whole ERLC private server command. So if you are an admin on an ERLC private server, all you got to do is run the PM command, as you can see right here. And I'll throw a picture on screen of what it does. So you just PM and then you put the username and then you put the message you want. And then it'll pop up saying message from whoever sent it. And then it'll say like server admin, server moderator on the right. And it'll say like whatever you typed. In my case, I typed hi. So it'll put up hi on the screen. And yeah, I think that's very cool. We've been wanting like something like this for a very, very long time. So props to the developers for just sneaking it in. Now, this next part is about custom bot commands. Now, this API thing is about 10, 11 hours old uh, at the time of recording this. So everything is all still new. So I don't think you can access these uh, with any bots that are related to ERLC as of now. I think some of the bot developers are still coding them. So you will have to wait. Make sure to just join their Discord servers, you know, wait till their next update is out. But I do have someone who actually has coded some of these so i'll put some screenshots on the screen the first one is getting the in-game players now as you can see it says larry the lamb on police uh so that what that did uh you know it fetched that he was in the game and he also it also fetched his team so i just put his team and then whoever else was in the game you know it'll just fetch whoever else and what team they're on and then it also fetches the player count which i think is very cool because you just put the custom command and then it just tells you that stuff with the next one that i'm gonna put on screen right now you actually have the ability to see what cars players have uh, i'm not sure if you're able to get like license plates or anything i'm sure you could but obviously it's still pretty new and this is just like a test system. But as you can see, it's a spawn vehicles, a Chevron computer van 2006. Larry owns that. And I own a Falcon Advance Bolt 2024, which is the new electric vehicle. All you got to do is uh, type the vehicles command and you can see what vehicles are in the game. You can see who owns them, which is really good in case uh, somebody gets like, for example, somebody goes down the highway 500 miles an hour and somebody can catch that. And actually report the vehicle you just put that command in you see who's in the vehicle you teleport to them and you get moderating so i think that's a very good system especially like you know you can maybe create like a team command so you could see what players are on what team um you can create like a a weather command probably you can create like so many things is what i'm hearing Shown on screen are some screenshots of what some of the bots have actually already been able to do, which are new join logs, new leave logs, I believe new kill logs as well. Once again, very cool. This is also just another thing that the bots, you know, if you can code it, that's another thing that they could do. Also, I'm going to play a video of somebody actually using that little log command, uh, you know, actually in game. I, I think the command is log. I don't think you can actually change the command. So most servers are probably going to use this for like session logs or something. But yeah. Really, really cool video. As you can see, Larry in the video used the log command to actually say hi into a Discord channel with his own bot. So yeah, very cool. Uh, thank you to Larry, by the way. He's the one actually helping me with most of this video. So shout out to Larry. He's the one who actually owns Salt Lake City Roleplay. So if you want to check them out, you can. Oh, I think this is going to be a really, really, really great step up for private servers, especially public private servers, where you can just join and roleplay. You're going to have better moderation. You're going to have really good commands. I also hear there's a command where uh, basically you put the command in game, the bot uh, get the text it, and then the bot executes your command. I don't know how far of an extent that can go, but I heard it's going to create some very cool things. It is really great to see these improvements of AI. I wonder what is going to happen in the future within the next year or two with AI, especially within ERLC private servers. Let me know your thoughts on all this stuff down below. 
and before I go, I just do want to mention that some of these bot developers, such as Melanie, Trident, uh, ERM, I, I don't know what bot that stands for, but they're all making, you know, custom commands so you can do this with their bots. So if you want to go check them out, you can. Uh, I probably prefer them instead of making your own custom bot. But if you do want to make a custom bot, you can. But yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something out of this. Uh, shout out to the ERLC devs for doing this really great stuff. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace out.